Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Neil Panko and today we are going to cook Korean fried chicken. I have been watching Korean dramas recently and I, I don't know why but I really wanted to have this chicken. Uh, so this is the most cooked chicken that I do. So for the first step we need to wash the chicken. Here I am using around 450 grams of chicken so a pound of chicken. We are going to wash it and then pat dry it with a tissue or towel and then add some starch. The starch that I am using over here is cornstarch you can use any kind of starch but don't use flour we are going to uh, fry the chicken until it's golden light golden brown and then we are going to take it out we are not going to cook the uh, chicken fully in this step once all the chicken pieces are cooked or fried for the first batch we are going to heat the oil back up and then we are going to fry add all the chicken and then fry it until it's golden brown and crispy that would usually take around five to six minutes on medium heat the oil temperature should always be hot and the uh, flame should be high on the last 2 minutes keep tossing the chicken while it's cooking so that the color is even on each side and once they are done take it out and Once it's done, take it out and keep it in a ventilated rack, not in a plate or in a bowl. You can also keep it in a tissue paper lined dish so that the best thing would be for the air to circulate so the chicken will don't sweat and it won't get soggy. Okay, now moving on. Once the chicken is fried, in a non-stick pan it's very important that it's non-stick otherwise you will lose a lot of good stuff we are going to add about three teaspoon of sugar and two dried green uh, red chilies this is optional if you don't like it then omit this and if you like it add more i would suggest to add more now here i added two tablespoon of water just to melt the sugar and make it into a caramel half teaspoon of soy sauce and half teaspoon of vinegar depending on the taste that you like and finally a heaping tablespoon of honey because this is honey mustard chicken so a heaping tablespoon of honey I have toasted peanuts so I am adding it at this stage because I want the peanuts to be coated in the sugar mixture and I tasted the sauce it wasn't that sweet so I added a bit more sugar once the sauce is cooked and the water is kind of dry we are going to add a pinch of mustard you can add dry mustard also I am using mustard paste and a bit of chili flakes finally when the sauces are fully cooked we are going to add the chicken pieces and then coat it in the sauce quickly we are not going to let it sit in the sauce otherwise the sugar will start burning I did this stupid step that I took out some sauce because I th thought the sauce would be too much but turned out it was perfect for this amount of chicken so I added the sauce back because it was lacking some sauce and I wanted the chickens to be fully cooked. That's it I hope you li guys like this video short video and while serving you, can, you should always serve it with sesame seeds although I didn't have sesame seeds so I added so a little bit of furukake I had a little bit of furukake seasoning so I added that and that's it serve hot but let it cool a little bit so the outside get crunchy and enjoy
I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and subscribe to see more videos. Also, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Bye.